Okay, this is the Samsung Galaxy S3 LTE, the Canadian version or the US version, whatever. But I'm in Canada. This is the LTE on one bell. You can see it on top there. This is <coughs> this is the Serenity 1.2 version ROM. I'll show you. It's running Jelly Bean 4.11. What's special about this ROM? It's a Galaxy Note 2 port. I'm going to show you the model number i747, or known as 747 for the AT&T version. Same ROMs work. Serenity 1.2. You can see it by Drew Gardens. Here's the developer option, same as you would see on any Samsung. But perf but I'm going to do a Quadrant benchmark and I want to show you that I have Force GP rendering on. So later on, after I show you. You got your S Pen and all the functions with the S Pen that I don't really need because I don't have an S Pen for this phone. It's one handed operation, keypad and call buttons, calculator. Turn that on, see what happens. We got your security. And all that. With lock screen, you can swipe motion, face lock pattern, all the good stuff there. Battery percent and power saving mode, storage, display, I want to see display. What's weird because like this Samsung compared to the quad core does not have this screen mode at all. I'm just going to wipe the screen. But uh, yeah, compared to the quad you can... Like, I had an S2 and the quad core i747, you can change the screen mode. So, if you want the screen a little more vibrant or natural or like a theater mode to get the color a little bit differently. And apparently, they're, they're going to do it on the, uh, on the Galaxy Note 2 according to this ROM as of what I'm, what I'm seeing. Like, it doesn't even work, like, you can see. I'm changing it. I'm just going to leave it on dynamic, but it's not really working. And everything else is the same. I haven't seen a toggle for, toggle for LTE on this phone, like some ROMs and the official 4-point ice cream sandwich ROM. I haven't seen... The official ROM that you get with the phone, you do get an LTE toggle, but this one I don't see it at all. Even if I go to, not a big deal, it will just go like 4, 4G LTE. But if you're a diehard battery fan, that might, that might not be good for you. I'm just going to show you Jellybean 4.11. And you can slide all these out. I'm going to show you the gallery. Here's my gallery. Because people complain, is it a Galaxy Note 2 gallery? I'm not sure what the Galaxy Note 2 gallery looks like. I haven't looked into it. But this is what it looks like on, on this ROM. And you can switch between different modes here. If I want it like this. I have a bunch of videos on my phone here. I'm just going to play one and it plays flawlessly there. And then you choose. I'm just going to choose. I 
and it plays flawlessly. And you do get your pop-out menu for the video. So no problem there. And you, then you can go back and then you can have it like this. Put it back by albums. Here's the Play Store. I'm going to show you what Play Store comes with it. 3715. I do have some updates I have to do. This is uh, the top Wi Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, sound, screen rotation. They didn't put data up here, but it's okay. Sometimes it's it's okay because like sometimes you can hit the button and turn the data off. Here's the update me. It's like uh, it'll update the ROM. It'll tell you like when the new ROM's gonna come for an update. It came with ROM manager when I first got it. It auto installed some of my apps from the App Store. That's why you see some differently. Uh, draw something does not work. Note does not work on this ROM. I will just show you. Does not work. See something with the screen not working with that. And that's the full version of draw something. You get the mobile hotspot, the S paper alert, or artist, or whatever you call it. And yeah, I'm just gonna clear all this out. I'm, I have 653 megs out of uh, 2 gigs of RAM. And I'm just going to clear the memory and then I'm going to run the quadrant test. So now I have roughly just around 600 megabytes of, uh, of RAM. And I'm going to run full benchmark. We get 35 frames per second. We're gonna go yes. So my device gets 6180. So CPU 9516, memory 1000, 11272, 2D performance 1006, 3D performance. 2,234. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys.